Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we have a lot to get done. We are finally going to clear the fog completely from our home system. We are going to finish setting up resource collection on our third and inner planet and we are going to get our green science production up and running you guys. This game is going really well and we are getting closer and closer to mission complete. I can taste it. I hope y'all enjoy this video and if you do, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of this journey that we are on. Now let's jump into today's video. Okay you guys, so here we are on our home planet. We are setting up planetary shields. This was the first time that I played around with them. So I really wanted to cover this planet. We are going to attack the fog and, you know, maybe we don't need this shield, but I, uh, I was curious and I wanted to set it up. I wanted to hit that full coverage. I think it's pretty cool. These shields, because I think they stop the dark fog seeds from actually landing on your planet. If you do, if you have the shields up, I don't think they can actually physically land unless they destroy them somehow. Now, let me know if I'm wrong on that, but I think that's how it works. Here we go. Full coverage. Love it. Add a little bit more of the power here because the shields take lots of power. Guys, I have had issues, I feel like, this entire game with power. I cannot wait until we finally are able to create the artificial suns. That is going to solve all of our issues. And I am counting down till we can finally start making those. We're just adding a bunch more power here. And of course, we're low on the hydrogen fuel rods. I go back. They are being built, but still a bit slow but anyway that's going to keep doing its thing and we are doing it you guys we are going to go and attack the dark fog now i've heard that it's good to come at them so that they're moving away from you and then you can kind of just aggro them a little bit like i'm doing here and then you can pull back and kind of let your ships go and do the fighting now, my ships are not very upgraded at this point, and I don't have a super crazy amount of them. But slowly but surely, we are going to whittle down this enemy base here. Right here, I got scared. I thought all of them were flying to my home planet, but I think they were just chasing my, my, uh, my fleet around. So every one of those little flashes of light is an enemy ship being destroyed. So that is good. It's happening. Not super quickly, but we are going to whittle them down eventually. Happy hunting. So we've killed a hundred already. Which is like half of this base, which is nothing. But it's cool. We got all the time in the world. I am very low on power at this point. I'm kind of just trying to float around, but we're going to go back home. I'm going to grab some more power, get all fully charged up. So we got this one hive whittled down pretty good. You can see the last few of their ships kind of returning to their original position there. But we got most of them, you guys. The other hive is still fully operational. Haven't even touched that one yet. But this close one. I'm gonna grab some more science and technology really quick, grab some more Corvettes, and head back out to finally fully take over this hive, and that'll be one down. But we're just gonna come in from behind again, we're gonna set aggro. Very slowly, my fleet is gonna take out all of the ships. These space battles are so cool. It's 
though all of the enemy ships, or most of them at least, are completely destroyed. So we're going to fly in, take out a few of them. Now we got close enough that they're going to send their actual like base defense ships that kind of hang around. I'm going to send those guys out, but slowly but surely we're going to whittle down them down as well. And then we can move in on the actual hive itself and just float behind it here as our ships do their thing and fully destroy this hive. So you can see right there all of our little ships flying out, flying back in, and slowly the fog hive is disappearing here. Just like that, you guys. Coming along. There's no stopping us now. Come on. For some reason, my sh my uh, my ships stopped attacking there, so I had to fly fly out, fly back in, just to kind of reactivate them. And there we go guys our first fog base wiped off the map gone and we have a nice debris field it's hanging out showing the other base that we are not to be trifled with there it is over there They did send a few ships over to our base while we were destroying them but that's okay we went Took those out. We're just going to go home. Grab some more technology. Grab some more power. Grab some more Corvettes. So we can take out our final base. Make sure our hydrogen fuel rods are flowing. Because we need those for our planetary shields. And we're heading off. And here we go. We are going to take this base out as well. A little bit quicker than the last time, guys. And about 30 minutes later or so, probably something like that. We're here at the end. But yeah, so we are completely clear of the dark fog. We're putting some more planetary shields down on this planet, even though we don't need them. I mean, eventually the fog will probably try to expand to our system again, but no big deal. We're setting them up. And then after that, guys, we did start a little bit of uh, resource collection on this planet, but we are going to finish it off and grab all the veins that we can so that we're just going to be set for, you know, a good amount of time with this amount of production. And then once I unlock the like super upgraded resource collectors, then I'm going to come and place one on top of each of these places as well and add some more interstellar logistics to collect. But yeah, we're just going around, guys. We're just setting up resource collection. This is a really tedious part of the game, but the most necessary. So I'm basically just setting up, putting as many down as I can. Normally two belts. I put try to put like four resource collectors onto one belt if I can. I try to do no more than that because I feel like it gets oversaturated, but this part also takes a lot of belts. Another iron vein. I'm going to feed it all the way into this logistics as well. Lovely. I think these are the last two veins or three veins of resources on this planet. And we will be fully collecting with no fog threat whatsoever. It's so beautiful. Free reign to build now. I can just focus on my tech. So still having power issues, you guys. So I was working on getting the energy exchanger set up because my inner planet is to uh, tidally locked. I can put hundreds, thousands, even solar sails down and we can use all of that energy on this planet. So 
So we're getting accumulators building there. I'm going to remove all these solar sails because I need to build. There we go. Now we're putting our energy exchangers down. We have the empty ones feed out into there and we're going to have our fully charged ones flow in on either side. Use a splitter. Setting all of these to discharge. I'm going to take a little blueprint of that. And we're going to fly over to our tidal base. Find a nice flat spot to set it up here. So we're going to choose all of these to switch all of these to charge. Set up our logistics. So we're going to have empty ones coming in and full ones going out. There we go. We are charging. I'm going to add another row here. Add them into the same logistics, just like that. And we're going to have even more charging, you guys, as much as possible. Fix these belts. The blueprint kind of overlapped a little bit. That's no big deal. We also had a few that I didn't have in my inventory, but that's no big deal either. We're going to fly back home. Make sure that those are going. Make sure these are coming in. We're going to double this as well. Grab some more exchangers that we had building there. More solar panels. I really need those suns, you guys. Because these solar panels are just not, not doing it for me. I need way too many of them. But my exchangers are working. That's going to help out the load a little bit. I think I only got a couple hundred mega, uh, megawatts from it. But it's better than nothing. More of those. Best thing about these, this setup of our base here, every time I need something, if I've built it before, I just need to grab the blueprint and place it down. And it's so fast, so nice. Get some more particle container. Oh, no, we're switching it out. Titanium glass. So we are working towards our green science right now, you guys. So I need the quantum chips and then the graviton lenses, I believe, for green science. So right now we're working on the quantum chips, which take a lot of resources and different things that build really slowly. So we're just setting up every thing extra that we need here. We're going to need lots of water for our titanium crystals, I believe, or our kyanite crystals. I'm not 100% sure, but we need water. So we're setting up water. Powering it all up. And very good. That's going to that's going to support what we need for the, the at this point. Here we go, more titanium glass. Very good. A 
I was running low on sulfuric acid, so designing a little sulfuric acid build here. So basically this is how we're setting it up. We're going to have three inputs coming in on belts and then we're going to have them switch to other belts and directly into our chem plants. And then we are going to have our one line coming up. We're going to have, we have to lift it up because we don't have space. That's no problem. Just lay it down. Two, place all these guys down, connect them up. Just like that. And now we add all of our pile sorters to this build, which there's a lot in lots of different combinations. But here we go, finishing it up. Getting all sulfuric acid, getting to build. I'm gonna blueprint it just for future use here. Go back home. I was just kind of checking to see what I had over here and I knew I had a plastic so I just went to grab that blueprint. Just have to modify it just a little bit. I had room to extend it there, so extended it just by a little bit. Now we're just going to grab this again and boom! More plastic. As you play this game, there's always times where you'll just, you'll Build, make a build like plastic in the decent, you know, decently early game for Yellow Science. And you don't really think about plastic again until later on when you start to run out of it. I always find that kind of funny how, you know, you set something up and then completely forget about it until it pops right up back in your face. And you're like, oh, damn, I need to build more of that. I forgot. We're setting up triple smelting here so we can get our titanium alloy. And we need lots of this titanium alloy. That's what the uh, sulfuric acid was for. I don't think I made enough sulfuric acid to support those three uh, titanium alloy builds, but it's okay. Grabbed another big oil refining line here. We just uh, grabbed the blueprint from our other one. We're setting this up because I think our crude oil was running low. Or not our crude oil, our refined oil. Or I just wanted more of it. So we're setting up another build here. This one is a two in one out uh, chemical plant build. Grab that, we're just gonna double it, 
make it a bit longer. go set another blueprint for two in one out on the chem we're gonna make nanotubes here so nanotubes those are gonna start building I'm gonna grab another deuterium fuel rod oh no we're just gonna set up components instead Running out of space for these uh, builds a little bit, especially these long ones. So we just gonna we gotta place things down where we have space at this point. Copy this, couple blueprint. Just gonna grab it. I'm gonna make some little particle gliders and some rocket facilities, rocket launchers. So we finally have our quantum chips and they were starting to back up, which is great. So we just added a little storage buffer in there. No big deal. So right here we are setting up a build, I believe for strange matter, which we need for our graviton lenses. Now these build really slow, unfortunately. And these particle colliders take so much power to run. But hopefully that'll just go forever now as long as we have the resources for it. All right, graviton lenses. So we have our quantum chips built. We have graviton lenses being built, which is fantastic. So right here, I wanted to make one small little green science build that is going to feed directly in and make space warpers for us because we get eight space warpers for the price of one green cube. So this one little build here is going to be fantastic for us. We're just going to have, we're going to have more space warpers than we know what to do with. And that's what I like. That's what I like. I'm going to get those flowing. Those are going to start building. And then eventually we will be able to, you know, start supplying these to the galaxy from here. Eventually I'll probably have to up the production of them, but that's okay. Not for a long time. You guys, I'm not, e I haven't even warped anywhere yet. And now we are just finishing up this green build and we're going to have green cubes, which is fantastic. Okay, you all, this is where we're going to call the video today. We made tons of progress in our tech tree. And now that the fog is gone, we have full freedom to build in our home system. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.